Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Broker Aesthetic. On this channel, I do budget-friendly DIYs, thrift flips and hauls, trash of treasures, and more. Today, I'm going to work on some stuff for the plaid collab. I've got some stuff gathered here that I'm going to mess with. And first, I think what I'm going to do is start out with these terracotta pots. And I saw a thing on Pinterest. I will put it up here somewhere. Somewhere up there. Uh, and I'm going to do a, a different, a little bit different version, but still basically the same kind of thing. Anyhow, so I'm going to take these three pots and paint them. I'm going to paint the exterior of the pots white, and I'm going to use the Waverly chalk paint in white. And the interior, I'm going to paint with the Folk Art Light Lavender, Folk Art Vintage Tea Rose, and Folk Art Daybreak. I think I want to lighten them up and make them a little bit lighter. So I have some baby food cups over here that I will mix my colors in. So let's get to work on that. I'm just turn these upside down, start painting from the bottom. I'm just going to do like a stippling with a foam brush. Kind of give it a little bit of texture. Pardon my camera if it's bouncing around. So I will just do this on all three. All right, and while those are drying, I'm going to go ahead and prep for the interior color. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of white into each one of these. That's probably way too much. I don't even know. I don't know. That's definitely going to be too much. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to need to get more of this. It's one of my favorite colors. And I think I can probably uh, use up the excess with something else. All right? So I'll go ahead and start mixing some colors so next i just paint the insides of the pots one two three and see this is what they look like done there a lot darker than i expected them to be when they dried down i was hoping for a little bit lighter but it is what it is and i'll just go with it now the pinspiration image has a radon style font on it but I'm not about that, so I'm just going to leave those as it is, and I will shove some floral foam and some things in it and put that together. All right, next, if you saw my Small Creator Sunday uh, from the 13th, I think it was, um, I have a bunch of Easter picks that have these eggs on them, so I'm taking a few of these off. I'm going to make a garland. With some of these so what i'm going to do is i'm going to poke through because they're just foam poke through the bottom just with a barbecue skewer and then i want to paint them with the folk art home decor chalk paint and sage i guess the thinnest del rod i have so i'll just All right, I should be able to thread string through there just fine. That's an annoying sound. Clearly that's not aligned perfectly, but there we go. Now I can paint these with the Sage chalk paint. Dry. So the next step is going to be, I guess deciding if I wanna paint the other beads I'm still up in the air if I want to do just wood, if I want to stain them, or if I want to paint them white. I'm not so sure. So I think I'll ask Instagram. All right, Graham has spoken, and the consensus is to use the stain, which is just folk art home decor wax and antique. So I'm going to 
do a bunch of beads with the wax. So these are done. The next thing will be to start stringing it together. So what I'm going to do in order to thread my cotton twine stuff through the eggs specifically is I'm going to just hot glue it to the very end here of the skewer and hope that this works. <laughs> oh, we're going to go with one of these first. Haha, <laughs> success. And another bead. And then so what I'm going to do is a small one on each, on either side of the eggs, and then ten of the is twenty mil twenty millimeter beads in between. Scratch that. I didn't actually add. 10 and an egg and 10 and an egg. I ended up splitting because I remember that this is how I wanted to do it in the first place. <laughs> There's I have a small one and then five, a small one, egg, small one, 10, small one, egg, small one, 10, small one, egg, small one, five, small one. Okay, now the ends here, obviously, this will be for the tassels. For the tassel, I'm going to use this same stuff, and it's very thin, so I will do a lot of I'll do a lot of wraps. I'm going to do tassel on each end. Here's the bead garland, the tassels. I haven't brushed these out yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Maybe I'll just leave them. But I think this is really cute. Spring yet not overtly so. Yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about today's challenge. I'm participating in the plaid collab and this is a collab with a bunch of other plaid crafts ambassadors. Plaid crafts is a company that carries art supplies, things that you might know, like Mod Podge and Waverly Chalk Paint, Folk Art, um, all kinds of fantastic art supplies. And as Plaid Ambassadors, we showcase our crafts using those things, and that's what this playlist is. There's, I don't know how many, you can see right there how many there are. <laughs> uh, but there's a giveaway of a bunch of plaid products you make sure to listen for each person's secret word and i will make sure to tell you mine in just a little bit but next let me get into the other crafts it's going to be super easy i'm going to take this it's really cute little cat clip frame that my mom had gotten for me and i'm going to do some decoupage which rarely ever do but I thought this warranted so I'm going to go ahead and take that off also going to get a little screwdriver and take the clip I was going to spray paint that but the weather is no bueno for spray painting and I don't know how well anything else would adhere to the metal so I'm just going to not. I don't really need to do this probably, but I'm going to oh, send out. Now I'll just cut this out. Okay, now for the fun part. Mod Podge. Just going to use some matte Mod Podge. I will apply it to this. That'll do. <laughs> a 
Ooh, buddy. All right, I've got a layer of Mod Podge here. Got my paper cut out, and I'm going to gently apply that. And using my Mod Podge, it's not even showing on that. My Mod Podge brayer, actually. This is from Plaid. Make sure there's no bubbles. Feels pretty good. The hole for the clip. Make sure this gets nice and dry. Make sure there's no bubbling, which I don't know if you can see or not, but no bubbles, no wrinkles. So I'll let that dry. I'm going to put this back on carefully. All right, now that's done. And I think what I want to do is add some black macrame cord and it wouldn't be me if I didn't put a little bit of beads and a tassel on the end. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. What I'm going to do is just paint a few beads. I'm going to paint these two black and these three white. I'm going to use the Waverly chalk paint in ink and Waverly chalk paint in white for these before I put the tassel -y bit together. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tie this and leave a nice length here so I can tie it around my tassel when I'm done. Pardon if you hear thunder or rain. We are finally, finally getting some storms here in Texas. And it's a good thing because there's a lot of wildfires and some not too far away from us. So, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to tie this. Yeah, I think that's fine. Nice and tight. Probably dab some hot glue there. And I can thread my beads. They are dry. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, it is really starting to come down out there. I love it. I love storms. Not too much, but it could be troublesome. We're having a tornado watch right now. I need to check. I think there's hail. The last time we had a hailstorm, it was... <laughs> I still need a window replaced, so if anybody wants to sponsor me getting a new window, I'd be grateful for that. <laughs> it was pretty bad the last time. It could just be really heavy rain, I don't know. Okay, so here's some beads. Alright, and then... I will make a tassel to go along. I thought about doing black and white. Black and white tassel. I think I'll just stick with black. I'll whip up a quick tassel for the end. And there we go. That's the end of that. It's finished. Ready to put a little picture or a note there. I think it's really cute. Not exactly a spring, but there's flowers, so it's good enough for me. <laughs> it's not traditional, but hey, I don't want to do traditional. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this one. So this next craft really isn't spring related, but I did it on the first day of spring, so I'm going to call it spring. Uh, they are Plaid Crafts products, so that's why I've included this one. For my last DIY for this challenge, um, I'm going to step outside of what I normally like to do and do something a little, I guess, with a farmhouse vibe. Um, I got this palette round sign from plaid uh, they sent this to me a while back and I've been 
wondering what to do with it. So here we go. And I have this MDF T for my name. And I'm going to just make a little sign out of it. I'm going to change the color for this. I think I'm going to go with the Folk Art Home Decor Wax in Antique. And for the tea, I'm going to custom mix a Home Decor Chalk Paint and Grotto. And the Waverly Chalk Paint and White. This is my secret word, Waverly White chalk paint so let's get into it so I'm going to use a baby wipe just dip in there going with the grain I may actually do additional layer of this and darken it up. I kind of want it a little darker. I don't know. We'll see after it dries. All right, so this is pretty much dry. I'm gonna set it off to the side and work on this. And I may need to take some sandpaper to this to scuff it up so I can paint. Now again, I'm going to use Waverly White chalk paint and home decor chalk, folk art home decor chalk paint in Grotto. And I want to make a bit of a lighter tealy color. I don't think I need too much. I'm just using an empty baby food container. All right, that's pretty much perfect. Yep, that's the color I want. So I can slap this on here. Should have enough for two coats, which I'll probably need because it's black. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have painted it white first. All right, I'm gonna let that dry down and then do two, maybe three coats. All right, so now this is dry and this is dry and here comes the easy part, putting them together. Wanna make sure that it's pretty much level, center, whatever. So just feeling it taking this uh, square that I got from the Dollar Tree and using the, I guess this is the one inch. Yeah. Against the bottom here, just right there. And just bringing that T down. So I know Right where I want it. And I'm using Sherbonder hot glue. Just barf right out the middle there. I have it on the hot setting so it'll last for a minute or two. Got that drip there, which I'll take off in a second, but otherwise, that looks pretty good. Yep, I like it. Now, let me hang it up and reveal all the rest of the projects. I think the bead and egg garland turned out 
pretty much exactly what I was looking for with the sage colored eggs and the terracotta pots with just a little pop of color, just a little surprise in there. And I think paired with the garland like this on my little tray is a really nice grouping and something that can sit out for a couple of seasons. And my tag clip frame sign thing. <laughs> I like this one. It's, it's really cute. And my palette sign tee, which I will have displayed soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these in the comments below. Don't forget my secret word is Waverly White Chalk Paint to be entered to win the plaid gift away. Make sure you check out all of the other channels in the playlist. Like, comment, subscribe, spread that YouTube -y goodness. Special thanks to Indiana Jones for putting this collab together for us. And you can find her link and the link to the playlist in my description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care, y'all. Bye.